in 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 supplements. They keep popping up on my TikTok, on my Instagram, telling me, take this, you will be forever youthful. What are you, what's your thoughts on in in in? Can I just put a blanket statement on all supplements on this? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> People are always looking for the magic bullet. Yeah. And if you are spending a whole bunch of money on a supplement, then you should probably look at all the other things leading into it. Yes. We know for sure that things like omega-3 and creatine, they work great. Yeah. We now have all this stuff coming up about peptides, yes. right? Yes, peptides everywhere. Everywhere. At the everywhere. skin clinic, at the everything I clinic. <laughs> IV clinic, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's one that has some evidence to show that it's helpful, and that's the one peptide. It's the body protective compound 157 or BPC-157 for... Banned in sport, by the way. It is. Banned, banned in sport. sport. <laughs> because there's evidence to show that it actually does work. But yeah. all the other peptides, they're rat studies, and but they're being pushed. So just take it with a grain of salt and really do your own kind of investigating. You're going to have all sorts of people saying, this works, this works, this works. But for me, I always look and go, where's the research? Is it just on rat research? Is it just male rat research? Mm. How long has it been out? What's the cost of it? What are they purporting it does? And then even in the supplement industry, it's so unregulated. You don't actually know if the dosage that they're saying on the container is the dosage that you're actually getting. So it's, it's such an unregulated industry. Yeah, if you are going with a reputable company, then you'll see that they don't have all the fringe things out there. Because um, most that are reputable are very careful what they put on the market. Um, and they're not ones that are going to be quick to jump on some of the trends. So if you are looking at the trends coming through, look at something like Momentus, yeah. who is really careful on the science and what they put out there. If they're not jumping on the trend, you know there's no evidence behind using it. 